Hello my angels, welcome back, happy Thursday. I'm still here in the old house. Um, so everything was going ahead and we were, we were hoping things were gonna be shifting on the Friday and then the solicitors got in touch and said, not this week, uh, probably gonna be the 27th of August. So we've got a delay on us moving. Uh, not entirely surprised, did feel that that was what was gonna happen anyway. Um, but hopefully, at that point in time, we will be moving house. So what we're going to do today is, uh, why are they avoiding you? I couldn't think then. Why are they avoiding you? Why are they ignoring you? What's actually going on? So I've got two decks to pick from, as always. Deck number one and deck number two. Go to the deck that you are most drawn to, whether it's number one, number two. And as you're doing that, think about your person for me. So this reading might be a little bit of a heavier energy going on with you guys. So just please prepare for that. We always work with the light and the shadow energies in all readings. Um, so deck number one and deck number two. We'll also look at future outcomes of where it can go. As always, work some the strongest mutual energy between you all. And if you need me for a private reading, just drop me a message. Deck number one. I do 15 minutes, half hour. And I also do email questions with a quick turnaround if you want to know the answer quickly okay let's do this so deck number one think about your person for me can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes of deck number one so first thing that's coming through my right ear is a message for you guys and we're getting a bit of Dua Lipa carefully waiting for her new rules to come out before you proceed carefully. Um, Dua Lipa, one, don't pick up the phone. Two, he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Um, now, that's not all of your energy, but some of you guys, I don't know if you are chasing them, backing them into a bit of a corner. Um, that song coming forward to just say, just take a step back, let them come to you a little bit. That's the first thing that's coming up with you guys. So... Can you tell me why are there people avoiding deck number one? So if you do take a step back from this situation, there isn't a negative energy around it. So even with Dua Lipa and her rules, um, her rules, um, the energy between you guys is okay. Um, so they're not going to vanish into the sunset if you don't text them and you don't call them and you let them come to you. They will message, they will make that movement towards you. Why are they avoiding those watching? It's gonna get another three. It's quite interesting, you've got a few divine partnerships happening here. So you're likely to be twin flames, high vibrational soulmates, um, different energy kind of coming up with you guys, a very, very strong high frequency connection with you both. So the first thing that's coming up with you guys is you have this kind of fear of love. So we've got this divine partnership. We've got you and them. We've got the love that you share. You've got the connection, the bond, the future, both of you looking to your crystal ball. You're looking in your crystal ball, trying to see the future. Your person is looking at the crystal ball and blocking it. So whenever you kind of see someone crossing their arms, generally this is a bit of a block in communication. So it doesn't mean that your person doesn't want a future with you. It's just that they are blocking that communication coming forward from you at the moment. Reason why is because they're frightened of love. So your person has got these very strong feelings for you. They have got these very strong emotions for you. They have these very strong love bond and we know it's a divine connection and with that sometimes it can just scare them a little bit so you have movement coming in based on love you have a future of giving birth to new dreams and things working out with you you have kids you have houses you have we weddings you have marriage you have everything you want with this person it's just a little bit more about it being on their speed than in your speed and that's why with the Dua Lipa song at the, front, at the start, they're saying don't back them into a corner because if you back them into a corner, this situation could kind of go a little bit astray. Um, if you let your person come to you and do the hard work and do the grafting and do the movement, this can move into your favour, into the direction you want it to. So there is a lot of hope here. There is a lot of ideals of this situation working out with you both. Let's find out why they are blocking this connection. Why are they blocking the connection at the moment? What is the reason for that? Why are they blocking the connection? Yeah. 
another one. Okay. So the reason why they are blocking the connection with you guys, that was just a poem. It says on it, you might like this. Fairies clever, fairies bright, from garden, wood and pond. Guide my thoughts, guide my sight. Please help me find the answers on a path that's true and right. Beautiful as that. Lovely deck this is. This is the Mystic Fairy Tarot by Linda Ravenscroft. She's got beautiful shop in Glastonbury if you guys haven't been and you're in England. Go have a look. Or go have a look online. It's, it's perfect. So um, reasons why they are blocking the connection. It is coming back to this fear of love fear of um, kind of the unknown. They know that this connection is something that they've never experienced in their life before, that the bond is really strong and they're scared of therefore getting hurt. Um, they do see a future with you guys, absolutely. But again, it's kind of on their speed rather than on your speed. They've got this mask going on that they're kind of lying to themselves about the situation as well. So they are trying to think that they can avoid it. They're trying to think that they don't need to interact with you, that they can step away from the connection, but it's not the case. Like I said, as soon as you stop chasing them, this person, your person, is going to start making more of an effort towards you. Um, most likely within days, for the majority of you, a couple of you, it'll probably be weeks or months, uh, but most of you, um, if you take your foot off the gas, your person's going to want more from you quite quickly, quite abruptly, strong, strong movement coming in, and the mask that they've been wearing is going to drop, and um, they are just frightened of love. They've probably been hurt before in the past, I do see that there are a few mum issues coming up here for some of you guys, um, when your person was a child, they did have issues with their mum. Um, so they are scared again, quite subconsciously about a connecting um, with the energy of, of a new relationship, of new love. Okay, um, Perhaps their mother figure wasn't who they needed them to be as a child and therefore it's kind of messed with their head a little bit when it comes to romance and connections and how um, romance should work. So you've got kind of family issues happening here from when they were younger and that's what's making them scared of love. So when they love their, like I said, some of them um, had the issues with their mum, they felt this love for their mum and their mum probably put them into a little bit of avoidance and so they figured that this was how love was meant to go um, and because of that, this is why they're a little bit frightened of love. So you have on, on different respects, you have this, they're scared of the future you have, they're scared of the past um, and they're scared of kind of giving you that level of commitment because of hurt and pain that they've experienced. Now, on the flip side of this, they know that this is something that they are going to be wanting. There is an offer coming in of a romantic future, of a stable future with you guys. Uh, the movement of that is quite quick. So again, quick movement coming in. You've got a lot of cards of movement with you and your person. Um, you've got this divine partnership over here, more cards of movement, stepping towards a future with one another, um, taking out the, the blocks that they've been placing in the way and making fast, steady movement here for you. Um, they need to kind of feel what life is like without you a little bit um, and for them to realise what they actually want from the connection. And that's why Dua Leap is coming up at the start. So overall, why are they avoiding you? We've got some kind of deep rooted issues happening. We've got issues from childhood, we've got issues of love and how love should work, what they want, where they want things to head, the connection between you guys, um, the bonding, and they're wanting to make sure that they are doing this for the right reasons. They're also a little bit complacent because they feel that you're there a lot for them, so sometimes you just got to take a step back um, and let them do the work for you. Okay, um, are they really avoiding you? They are a little bit, yeah. They are a little bit, um, but equally at the same time, they are still thinking of you and they are still wondering where it can go between you guys. Um, the energy of this isn't isn't particularly heavy. It's just that they are blocking it moving forward at the moment. They don't really want to see massively far into the future. They're trying to focus on the here and now. Um, so if if you have been messaging them about a future and it's been you feel like you've been hitting a bit of a brick wall, again, we would recommend that you kind of just take your foot off the gas with that. Let them talk to you about where they want it to go and you can mirror that energy back towards them. Um, the walls have to drop. OK, so they've got these bit, bits of walls up at the moment over the connection with you for all the reasons that we stated, because they are simply afraid, really. Um, and once those walls drop through kind of you taking a step back, this can move into a more positive direction. 
definite futures going on here, definite houses, families, babies, kids, um, <laughs> happiness, really. It's just a little bit of a slow progression route with you guys. Um, you've got to go at their speed. And if you go at their speed, this can work out. So technically not avoiding you massively, avoiding the situation a little bit, but it's because of fear. And that is deck number one. So if you need me, drop me a message and I will speak to you soon. Lots of goddess blessings to deck number one. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. Why are they avoiding you? And if you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, I did put a bit of a trigger warning at the start of the reading. Um, this reading will contain both light and shadow energies to it as we're looking in the energy of why they are avoiding you. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Let's just do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of your people. And then let's go. Let's see what spirits say. See what the cards say. Okay, so we have like a bit of drum and bass flying around everywhere. Um, you've got songs coming through with the drum and bass tune and a lot of them are actually about love. Um, and when it's talking about love and the songs that you get, um, they're, they're talking, um, I don't know if you ever heard it, and it's a bit of a, can be a little bit of a freaky song actually, um, Chase and Status Let You Go, I don't know if you ever heard that, um, and it talks about there's no way that I will ever let you go, um, and again, bit of a trigger warning on that, that song can be quite seen as quite a dark song, um, very good beat, very good for a party if you're out partying, great song, um, but some of you guys will probably find the lyrics a little bit frightening, so just be a bit warned on that there's a trigger warning there and um, but that energy coming forward that your person hasn't actually let the situation go so the the song lyrics on that will be talking about their connection with you um and there is a little bit with that perhaps of um i don't want to say narcissistic tendencies but your person is the person that is in control of this connection and that's why that song is coming forward why are they avoiding the connection why is that number two avoiding yeah so with that we have the devil energy kind of coming forward so we have again this this perhaps potentially toxic energy with you guys with your person being in control of it perhaps issues of codependency with you guys why are they avoiding you let's be certain about one thing though your person does love you they absolutely love you. So it's like a choice has been made on this situation. Um, a choice from things that have happened with you guys in the past and they've decided to take a step back from the situation um, and heal this kind of pain that's coming up. So the bottom three cards over here, you had Judgment, Six of Cups and Three of Swords. So these three kind of jumping out together is indicating that there's been heartbreak over things in the past and a choice has been made on it. So your person's being a little bit stubborn over the situation at this moment in time. And they are trying to let you live your life a little bit. They know that you have feelings for them. They know that, they, like I said, they are the, probably the ones that have made the decision on this. They're probably the ones that have said to you, you know, look, you know what, it's not really working out. Or perhaps they've just gone ghost on you. They're trying to let you live your life a little bit um, and move forward. Because at this moment in time, your person is very... That's whiplash. That's me getting whiplash when the um, spirit gives me clear sentiments. Sometimes my head and big body moves in very weird ways. Whiplash. Your person is giving you a little bit of whiplash. It's been backwards, forwards, not really giving you the answer that you need and desire. So your person is trying to help you move yourself forward, but perhaps they're not handling this in the right way. Now, it's really interesting if we look at that song that you got at the start, because even with them saying right go live your life go be happy they are still in control of the situation and they still kind of want you there they still want to speak to you and have you there but it's on their terms so on the flip side of this kind of heavier energy there is the chance of a future with you guys so you have the queen uh queen the king of pentacles and you have the empress so talking about giving birth to new dreams new ideas kids again kind of coming up in this king of pentacles talking about the family man perhaps if it's a third party situation they are focused on a relationship that they are previously in and um, you will know about this okay so if you're like i don't know about that it's because it's not aimed at you third party situations, the ones that know of that. 
okay? Giving birth to new dreams and a family connection over here, an ace of cups, which is a new beginning. So your person can still see potential with you. They can still see a family connection with you guys and they can still see a way for it to work. But at the moment, they are really just kind of pushing you away. Um, really pushing you away. The specific reasons of why they are pushing you away. Why is that number two being pushed away? Why are the people being pushed away? Your person's trying to work out what it is that they want. There is a sense of karmic energy happening here. If you need a past life reading for the karmic energy to clear, give me a shout. They work really well, um, the karmic energy. We do a clearing within the reading, okay? So a sense of karmic energy, a sense of balance. So on a spiritual level, the karmic debt is probably being repaid with you guys. Why are they avoiding? You're both at flip sides of the energy as well. You are mirroring one another. That's quite important for you to see. So on one side is their energy. On the other side is your energy. Light and shadows. Okay, so got a sense of duality happening with you guys over here. Um, future, knowing what they want, but uh, kind of putting a bit of a block up towards it as they're working through it. So your person can see the future with you, can see that there is potential with you. Um, they are just in this sense of avoidance at the moment and they're avoiding it because firstly, there's a karmic energy with you guys from stuff in the past. Secondly, because they are trying to let you live their life, your life, while they're working out what it is that they want. And thirdly, they're trying to just keep this downtime until they've made these choices on this. So your person really is in a sense of confusion that they don't really know what they want from the connection. And this is where that whiplash is coming in. It's backwards and forwards. It's forwards and backwards. It's this kind of, I'm giving you something, I'm taking it away. They will be very, probably very, very, very hot and cold with you. Um, what else do we need to know about this connection with deck number two? Sometimes they can be very icy and cold with you. Um, but they can see again, they can see a future. They retreat on situations. Sometimes they can feel quite overwhelmed. That's coming up, the sense of feeling of overwhelmed with the connection, uh, the sense of kind of you put them on a bit of a pedestal and that worries them because they're like, you don't really know me. Why would you put me on a pedestal? I haven't been the nicest person in my life. So you've got confidence issues kind of coming up over there that they're feeling a lack of self-confidence. Um, again, seeing the potential with you, but a little bit uncertain about opening Pandora's box at the moment they're worried and um, that if they allow you in you're going to see the real them so you have that coming up as well why else are they avoiding debt number two they're tired okay they feel like they've been through quite a bit of drama um not potentially with you but with potential extras as well so you have this i don't want to be in any situations that create drama so it's best i avoid it and let's just get one more Yeah, and this feeling of this kind of, where is the future going? Is it going to just lead me down the rabbit hole and there's no coming back from it? So you've got a real mix up of energy, a real, real mix up of energy happening in your person's mind. So let's just recap. OK, over here, you've got this potential for a future. You've got this thinking it through. Potentially thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing. You've got your person being in the control of the relationship. They're saying jump, you saying how high. They're trying to let you go to move on with your life so that you can live your best life. Really, it's not what they want because we know that they want a future with you, but they're trying not to hold you back because they're working out what it is that they want at this point in time. They're scared of taking a leap of faith in case they get pulled down the rabbit hole and they can't get back out. They've been involved in a lot of drama in previous relationships and they're a bit scared of that happening again so they're cutting away the bullshit there's a karmic energy between you guys as they're trying to balance that energy out with you both and um, again they can still see that there is a future with you and um, they don't feel that you know the real them and that you put them on a bit of a pedestal and if you did get to know the real them you wouldn't be particularly interested and that's why they're saying about dragging you down the rabbit hole 
Um, your person has had a few issues, um, difficult times that have happened in their life and it has put them on unstable and insecure grounds, but as a um, un unsecure, insecure, insecure ground, um, unstable and insecure ground. So they are feeling a little bit lost over this. Let's just ask what the future is with you guys. What's the future of deck number two? Let's get one to three cards. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Time energy coming forward over here. Balancing the energies out. And then there's hope. Okay, so this situation isn't over, done and dusted with you guys. You have the red thread of destiny happening here. Um, it looks like some of you guys will definitely have a future with one another. It's just going to be a case of biding time. Um, hoping, dreaming, praying, having faith in the connection with you both will lead to a brighter future. Your person's going to gather their strength and make stronger movement towards you. They are still going to be stubborn, but there has a stronger movement coming in from them. Um, but again, it's back on their terms. So it depends on what you guys want from the situation, really. You lot watching where you want the situation to go. Uh, patience is going to be quite important for you guys over here to let the situation unfurl naturally. Um, quite complicated, quite difficult person has got a few kind of issues from things like I said things that have happened in the past exes kids childhood all that kind of stuff difficult times um it's not to say your person hasn't got feelings for you because they have they are just really avoiding it at this moment because of all the reasons that spirit has stated there is hope in the future though do know that the star always talks about hope and there is hope that this can work out on both of your parts and it's really interesting that when we looked at your person's cards and where it's going they still have hope there so even if they're blocking it and avoiding it there is still this hope that this can work out with you both and that is step number two so if you need me drop me a message i will speak to you all super soon have a totally blessed week i love you all to pieces um, and stay safe bye guys